Hello guys and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to use Shopify to make an online store for a bakery. Be sure to check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify. Uh, and without further ado, let's get going. So the first things we are going to do is we're going to upload some of our products. So here on the top left we're going to go to products and we're going to click on add product. Once here, we are going to have a set of different uh, things to fill. First, we are going to go over our title. So, um, our first product would be, for example, a brownie. And uh, we, here we have a description. Now, what we can do is either we generate a, an AI a description with the built-in AI, or we can go over to ChatGPT or our personal AI of preference and create our own um, description. So that's what I did e uh, previously, and I'm going to just copy and paste my description here. And here we have the media tab, which is going to uh, be which image displays on the uh, product. So I'm going to select the image for brownies. Here below the image we have the category of the uh, product. Uh, normally Shopify uh, automatically uh, chooses one for you. Uh, so uh, this one is just right, bakery assortments in bakery. But if we want to change it, we have here a lot of um, different um, categories. For example, we can change it to pastries and scones, pies and tarts, etc. Here below it we have the pricing section. So uh, here we can choose uh, which price our product is going to have. Here I'm going to put for example $15 and we have the cost per item uh, so we can track our profit and our margin. Uh, I'm just going to put that it's, it's costing me $8 to make a brownie, so our profit is $7 and the margin is 46.7%. Here we have the option to take track of our inventory. I'm just going to deselect this because I'm not going to keep track. If we are going to ship uh, for anything, we have also here the option. I'm just going to also uh, not going. I'm not going to put anything here and wait because I'm not going to be doing any shipping. Uh, and if we go here on the top right, we have the product type, vendor, and collections uh, space here in collections. I suggest you put here homepage. And in tags, what we're going to do is we're going to put tags that are going to be uh, somewhat similar to what we're going to sell. So, for example, I'm going to put bakery, I'm going to put brownie, and for example, pastries as a uh, different tags of our product. Once we have completed this, uh, we're going to click here on save. And this would be our first product of uh, our business. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a couple more so we can use them later. What you should do is you should upload all of your products that you're going to use on your online store. So I'll be right back in a moment. So guys, here I am uploading my last product, uh, which is going to be a chocolate cake. So. Uh, I wanted to show you guys something uh, very interesting. Let's say that you have a chocolate cake, but you also want to make a, for example, chocolate cake with a, a another um, a product. And what you don't want to do is uh, to make a whole new product uh, for a different type of chocolate cake. So what you can do is you go over here down to variants and we're going to add options. Here we can choose for example flavor and we can uh, click here and choose which is flavor we are going to add for our chocolate cake. For example I'm going to add a chocolate cake with uh, let's say dulce de leche and here we have the different pricings for the different types of um, flavors. For example, the dulce leche cake is going to be a little bit more expensive. I'm going to put it at $40. 
and the this way we have uh, two products in the same page for our chocolate cake i'm going to click here and save so once we have all of our products uploaded what we want to do is we're going to go over to online store and here we can choose our theme uh, for our store now if we go down here we have a uh, multiple options for free themes uh, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep with the uh, default um, theme but uh, we are going to deeply customize it so we're going to click here on customize once here we can see that uh, firstly we have our header we have our banner um, a couple of featured products and here we have our footer so first things first what we want to do is we want to change our the name of our store so here in our header uh, it does not say my store but rather uh, the name that the that we want to choose so we're going to exit this we're going to go back where it says home and here in name your store we are going to click here on name store here we are going to choose any name we want for example i'm going, just going to put a bakery and we're going to save the name once here we are just going to go back we're going to online store again click on customize now once we have changed our name we can start uh, changing the look of our uh, website so for starters we are going to change this image right here which is going to be our our banner we can choose two images i'm just going to select one and here we can uh, and here we can either select one of our own images or if we go here and explore free images we can type we can type for example bakery and it is going to give you a bunch of free uh, templates to use for our website. I'm going to choose this one for example and it, you see it's going to fit really well with our theme. So uh, we're going to go back. So we are going to go over here and click select. Once we select this image we can scroll down and see multiple others uh, other things to customize for example we can customize the scheme and put the background uh, a little bit more um, bright and a lot of other different things so here we also have a text which i'm going to change let's see here we can uh, change what it says i'm just going to put for example welcome to my bakery and you see that here we also have the ex, uh, the option to use the built-in AI for of Shopify to generate any text we want for our uh, home page. Now let's say that you want to add a section to our um, website. What you want to do is you can either uh, go here to add a section. You see you have here the template, the header, on the footer to add a section wherever you want or if you click here in between the sections you can add one here for example we can uh, put uh, such things as featured collections featured products collection leads lists etc what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a featured product which is which can be our star product uh, or other things we're going to click on the uh, on the stage here and we are going to select one of our products uh, for example I'm going to choose the apple pie and you see that the image is uploaded here the price is uh, uploaded here and we can change for example uh, the scheme I'm going to put this way so the background is darker and here we can see that uh, we can upload all of our products this way to our home page now let's say that we have for example uh, first we're going to save this and uh, let's say that we have uh, uploaded a a section that we want to remove for example I just clicked here I clicked on featured collection and I uh, added this uh, stage right here that I don't want I want to delete it what we're going to do is we're going to click on it and here on the bottom right we have 
uh, the trash bin that is going to uh, remove this section so we click here on remove section and this section is going to be removed and it's not going to be uh, showing anymore so once we have finished uh, all the sections and customizing everything for our home page, we can uh, click save over here on the top right and then we can exit. Uh, so uh, before uh, doing anything else, uh, in order to verify that uh, the store has been uh, set up the way we want, we're going to click here on the three dots and we're going to preview our uh, website. You see here uh, there is the featured product that I added. Here we have the image that I changed and here we have a, a lot of different featured products. You see here also in the bottom uh, there is uh, the, the section that we deleted is no longer visible. So once we have um, taken care of that we are going to go over here and uh, we're going over to the analytics section so guys this is a very important section for us why because once we have start we once we start selling our products here is when where we are going to see uh, which products are the most popular how much have we make which is our um, profit etc etc shopify is going to provide us with uh, all of this information and we are going to be able to manage everything from here another thing that we can make uh, is if we go over here on the left to discounts we can create different discounts. For example, here I'm going to uh, create a discount for uh, products. Once we are here, we can, uh, for example, generate a random code that is uh, Shopify is going to provide us, or we can uh, choose whichever code we like. For example, if we want to make a code uh, with our name, bakery, uh, we can put, for example, bakery, I don't know, and a couple of random numbers. And this is going to be our discount code. Here we can choose uh, which type of uh, discount it's going to be. I'm just going to choose percentage and I'm going to choose a 10% of a discount to all of our products. Here we can select uh, the collections. For example, here I'm going to choose our homepage, we see which is our only collection. So this discount is going to apply to this collection. If we keep scrolling down, we, all have, we also have a lot of different options to change our discount. For example, here we can limit the amount of times that it can be used. I'm just going to put, for example, that it's going to be used 10 times. And uh, here we can also uh, set an uh, end date for our discount so it does not last forever. Let's say today is Wednesday the 4th. I'm going to put that it's going to be a one week discount. So it's going to end on the uh, next week. Once we have set up the discount the way we want it to, we're going to click here on save discount and we will have this code that we can post on social media or just give it to a friend so they can have a little discount on our products. Well guys, this was how to use Shopify to make your own bakery and your uh, online website. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you find it helpful. Uh, remember to use the link in the description to get a 3 days free trial for Shopify. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell and I'll see you guys next time.